Yes, yeah, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live. And this is our uh, Ramona Shelburne man. It's just reported that uh, Paul George is going to OKC, and uh, he's going there for uh, Victor Oladipo and uh, and Baby Sabonis, man. Don't y'all do y'all remember back when our Vita Sabonis was the best player in the world, and he's the reason that they created the dream teams? But that, anyway, if his son is a fraction of how good he was, it, he gonna be tough. Anyway, and we got a couple other things too, man, but uh, we, we, we'll get to that in a second. Um, what does this mean? I don't know. It means, this, uh, this This pretty much what it means. I don't know how the contracts stack up or anything like that, man, but I'm going to tell y'all straight up. Pretty much OKC got a one-year rental for Paul George, and I don't even understand the move. You lose Victor Oladipo and Sabonis, who could have been pillars for the franchise going forward but honestly this is just me and this is just my 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 mind talking if kevin durant and russell westbrook weren't able to get over the hump and you could argue that that they are better that that kevin durant is a better player than paul george then how is this going to work i feel like I don't know. I mean, this is just me talking. Like I said, I mean, I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not claiming that I can see all of Paul George's game or anything like that. But I feel like he needs the ball more than KD needed the ball. Now, don't get me wrong. I know that Paul George is gonna come out here and play deep, excellent defense, and and hit open shots and do stuff like that. But I just feel like like KD is more of a catch and shoot and move around guy. I feel like Paul George is. Well, I mean, they both one on one players, man. They both can get it done anywhere on the floor. But I'm just saying. I think my biggest thing is that largely. Uh, you could you could argue that Paul George and KD are basically we're saying basically I'm not saying they're the same player but I'm saying that they are the same type of player they're basically the same player so if this didn't do anything for you when 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 a, a better version I'm I'm just gonna say it, we're just gonna call we're gonna say that KD is a better version of Paul George except for the defense bar and defense if if you had someone who was a better version of Paul George as far as scoring and that didn't really work. And then the older depot thing didn't really, really work this year. Then, then how is this gonna work? He's definitely an upgrade from older depot, but you've already had this. You already had a player that was a premier small forward in the league. I don't see how this makes them better. I'm sorry. I I, I see how it makes them better than they were, but I don't see how, you know, like well, you couldn't get KD, so you got. You know the, the well the third the second or third best small forward in the league depending on what you want to say. Like he's an excellent small forward. I just don't see how this makes them better. I just don't. Especially going forward into the future. I mean, it just is what it is to me, man. It's I mean I'm gonna call it what it is, man. This is a one year rental of Paul George for the, for the, I mean I, I, if you're a fan, yeah, get happy because your team is better than it was yesterday. But you're not better than you were two years ago, and this certainly doesn't get you out of the West. And you're only gonna have Paul George for a year. He ain't re-upping. He already told you that he going that he's going to LA or he's going somewhere else where he can win. This this they just do, they're just doing this so that the Pacers don't lose, uh, so that they get something for him, you know, rather than rather than getting uh, nothing for him. And like I told y'all, man, I told you all that be very surprised if you see Paul George in a uh, in an Indianapolis uniform by the middle of the season. And like I said, I don't know how official all this is, but this is just what we're hearing. Uh, and she said she's hearing Ola Depot and some bonus, man. And I, like I said, I just don't see how this how this makes them a lot better. I mean, it makes them better than they were yesterday, definitely, but long term, this doesn't make you better. I'm sorry. I mean, you can roast me in the comments. Y'all can say what y'all want to, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking long term. It's, 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 it's not... A, if Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook weren't a good fit, I just don't see how this is going to be a good fit. Maybe Paul George can play more low-key. Maybe he's going to play more defense. Maybe he's going to play with more heart. I, I don't know. But I'm just saying, if you've got someone, and and for all intents and purposes, they are the same player, and KD is the better version, and it didn't work, then I just don't see how this is going to work. But enjoy your one-year rental if you're a uh, OKC fan, man. And and if you are OKC fan, tell me how you think this is going to work, cause I just don't see it. I just don't see it, man. I, I like, I can't see the vision right now. So help me out if you're an OKC fan. Help me out, man. Anyway, man, I don't already talk too long. This video over. We're gonna do a Jeff T video next, and I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. 
Holla! Hey, y'all let me know. Should I do these videos like real quick videos, just one one news segment per video? Or should I do them like I was doing them running all the segments together? Let me know that too. And I'm gone. Peace.